Quartet and I were doing this residency and a tour across France, and one of our final concerts were at, was this place outside of Paris, and uh, we were playing this concert. They had extended the stage a little bit to give us a bit more room because the rest was the altar, and uh, I'd walked in the front of the stage on the way out, and everything had been fine. We started playing, and then after the second piece, right before the intermission, for some reason, I decided as I was walking off stage to go closer to where their actual floor was, not realizing that they had just waxed the floor of the entire church. And I had been wearing four inch heels, a big evening dress, and I was carrying a beautiful Italian violin that was on loan to me from Peabody. And I went sliding across the entire stage, landing face first, and my first instinct, I guess, maybe as a violist, is like you put your hands behind you yeah. and you fall, and you hit everything else first. And of course, the entire audience went from clapping to <gasps> and a pin drop silence. And then we get off, and my quartet kind of picked me up and went off stage, and, and then the mayor of the town, everybody came, the presenters, and are you okay? Are you okay? And my quartet just runs back and says, What happened to the violin? Oh yeah, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, luckily, miraculously, the violin was okay. And um, I didn't. I was enough shocked that I didn't notice what I'd done to my ankle. We still had the second half to play. And this is when I got a big lesson in um, different sense of humor between North Americans and Europeans, and I tried to make a joke out of it, saying that I hadn't um, completed my catwalk lessons and runway modeling, and apparently nobody else found that funny, and so it was like absolute silence when we went back out. But luckily, they enjoyed they enjoyed the quartet mm. so hopefully that made up for the bad joke. What's your dream? Our next dream crowd. Or, or, or yours, it doesn't have to be with me. <laughs> Who else would I be playing with? I mean, um, a few. <laughs> um, we all know them. No, I mean, we were talking about it in, in the car. I mean, every time, I guess that's a nice thing at our age, every time we dream up a new program, it's usually like a bucket list program. Mm -hmm. So this was one of my bucket list programs. And I think if we're going to do our next project, we'd like to play the Respeaky Violins. Uh, it's funny because I've I've played so much, it, I mean, I wouldn't say all of the violin piano repertoire, which is just so much of it, but enough of it to where it's nearly nearly all of it. And uh, I've played the Respeaky a lot, and but not in a long time, and it's an amazing piece. And so I'm happy to bring that back, and, uh, and, and you're going to play it beautifully, so I, 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 I can't wait. I do have to say, he has actually played everything under the sun, but he never played any of that's true, yeah. yeah. This I'm like, what is this, this thing? I actually what is this I met it to get something that you didn't know. I, that's, she might wrote a third, like, so I only know the first, knew the first two. Um, as far as myself, I, I one day I want to play Rachmaninoff third piano concerto before I can't move my fingers well enough to be able to do it. Um, I mean, I know it well enough, um, just I haven't had the excuse to sit down and actually woodshed it and get it performance ready. So that's that's a big one. I also like to... It's a weird one, but the Corleano Cabin Chair was very cool. And uh, I mean, nobody knows. Well, that's amazing. I, that I played, I yeah. That. Have we played, did we play that together? No. No, I did that with somebody else. But, um, yeah. yeah, I guess I'm going to cross this up next year, but Grosso Fuga for a string quartet, uh, my Beethoven, is something that I've always wanted to play. And so it's a matter of just making those happen every year now. Crossing that off the list of words too. <laughs> the one that I most want to play is one I will never play, and it is the Schubert Cello Quintet because it does not involve a piano. It's just that's one of my desert island like we are not worthy. <laughs> like I'm not worthy of inhabiting the same planet with this piece, kind of a thing. But in your next lifetime, you yeah. play cellist or a violinist. Meanwhile, I just Maybe. listen to my friends play it and cry. <laughs> Michael Shepard. My name is Jessica Tom. And this has been our five minutes. minutes.